The first exoplanet was confirmed in 1992. More than 5,000 others have been catalogued since, and many in a habitable zone. But the truth is, we know, even if we haven't yet confirmed, that there are billions of other planets out there. And the likelihood of alien life is almost certain. So, do you think that they might know about us? A new study published in the Astrophysical Journal in June 2020 has recontextualized the search for extraterrestrial life by taking a fresh look at the famous Drake Equation. The study, led by researchers at the University of Nottingham in the UK, guesstimates the number of CETI, or Communicating Extraterrestrial Intelligent Civilizations, that could be in our galaxy, putting the figure at somewhere between 4 and 211, but most likely a few dozen, or about 36. So, there's more than a few things to understand here. First, the civilizations that the team are proposing would all be able to send radio signals out into space, much like we can, which is what qualifies them as communicating. Next, and more significantly, however, researchers reached this new number of potential alien societies by developing a calculation called the Astrobiological Copernican Limit, which is essentially a more specific alien probability analysis than the much more famous Drake Equation. The Drake Equation, devised by the astrophysicist Frank Drake in 1961, sets out to estimate the number of potential alien civilizations too, only it's infamously broad in its approach. The equation looks at seven criteria, none of which we conclusively know the answer to, including the rate of star creation and the possible lifetime of a communicating civilization. As a result, because of all the moving parts, the various attempts to solve the Drake Equation have generated wildly different outcomes down the years, alternately suggesting that there could be anything from zero other civilizations, for example, to tens of millions of them. The Astrobiological Copernican Limits calculation, however, significantly streamlines and tightens the method. Crucially, it works on the assumption that life on Earth develops scientifically rather than at random, and that intelligent life on an alien planet would therefore evolve in a similar way to how it has done on Earth. That is, it would take roughly 5 billion years to get to this point. It then takes into account the estimate number of planets within the habitable zones of their respective stars in the Milky Way. And hey presto, it deems that there's potentially between 4 and 211 communicating civilizations in our galaxy, or about 36. Much like the Drake Equation though, the Astrobiological Copernican Principle isn't without its fair share of problems. Again, we can't accurately know the correct figures to input into it, with estimates on the number of anything in the Milky Way tending to significantly differ from source to source. We simply don't know the exact number of stars or exoplanets in the galaxy and haven't yet even confidently observed an exomoon. So while this new method is quicker, neater, more specialized, and arguably more authentic, it is by no means definitive. We're still very much at the stage of there could be 36 alien civilizations in the Milky Way, but there also really couldn't be. There's also the fact that we're still not absolutely certain what caused intelligent life to evolve even on Earth itself, so the assumption that it even could happen widely across the universe under what might be deemed the right conditions is still a vast, but in this case vital, leap. The whole estimating the lifespan of a communicating civilization thing is really tricky to do. We only have ourselves to measure against, and though humans have been on Earth for 200,000 years or so, we've only been able to send radio signals for about a century. And we have no idea how long we'll survive as a radio signaling communicating species. This means our best guess at how long such a civilization could last has only one very modest data point to work from of at least 100 years. While this latest method to count unseen aliens isn't infallible, however, it does prompt us to think about the search for extraterrestrial life from a range of other perspectives too, which is always fun. 
Another takeaway from this study, for example, is the calculated probable distance between us and the next civilization, with it suggesting that the closest alien group could be 17,000 light years away. This means that even if we knew with 100% accuracy that there really was an intelligent communicating civilization that distance away from us, well, we'd be waiting some 34,000 years after sending a simple message to get a similarly simple response back. As for the prospects of conversing with such a society in depth, there aren't any. Not only that, but 17,000 years is obviously a long time, and more than enough time for a civilization, ours or theirs, to disappear for any number of reasons. Barring some sort of far future immortality technique, at the very least anyone alive to blindly send the initial message would be long, long dead before the reply came through. What's even more disheartening though, is that even if there is an alien civilization out there, or even 36 civilizations or more, how likely is it that they're sending out radio signals to try and communicate in the first place? Arguably, not very. Humankind has been sending radio messages into space for decades, the most famous of which being the Arecibo message in 1974, but it's not automatic that other species would do the same thing. While the astrobiological Copernican principle assumes that other life will have developed scientifically and somewhat similarly to ours, it could still be completely and fundamentally different to us, with zero use or knowledge of our communication methods. Nevertheless, there has been some cause for belief in recent decades too, that perhaps an alien message would be receivable and decipherable for us. The most famous of all incoming signals was the WOW signal picked up by the Big Ear Radio Telescope at Ohio State University in 1977. When translated, it amounts to a string of six characters, 6EQUJ5, and has been variably called the most likely candidates for a true alien communication. In 2012, we even sent a response to the signal from the Arecibo Observatory, in the form of 10,000 tweets all tagged with hashtag chasing UFOs. More recently, notable radio signals from space were picked up by CHIME. The Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment, a radio telescope in 2018, Chime detected what are known as FRBs, fast radio bursts, coming from another galaxy 500 million light years away, repeating at intervals of every 16 days. But could it be a sign of alien life, or could these interest peaking FRBs instead be coming from a young neutron star or an incredibly bright supernova? as per other theories on what they really are. Either way, as they're from outside the Milky Way, they're not one of the 36 civilizations proposed by the astrobiological Copernican principle, and if Chime's FRBs are alien in origin, it'd take us hundreds of millions of years to send a response with current technology a significant portion of Earth's life so far. If anything, instances like the chime signal prove just how immense the task at hand really is. With a new calculation, the University of Nottingham team has devised a way to argue for multiple alien civilizations within the Milky Way. But the Milky Way is just one average-sized example in amongst billions more galaxies in the observable universe. So while we may never be able to talk to distant aliens in our own galaxy or beyond, the belief that we're not alone isn't likely to disappear either. The astrobiological Copernican limit is one attempt amongst many to estimate how many intelligent species are out there, but until we have direct evidence that anything else exists, it's impossible to tell how accurate the calculations are. For now, we have to be content thinking that there might be 36 alien civilizations living in the Milky Way. What do you think? Is there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments, check out these other clips from Unveiled, and make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for our latest content.